Hi, welcome to the Monthly Skinny, where we dig into the most recent numbers from the Twin Cities housing market. I'm Emily Green, 2014 President of the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors. This spring, seller activity is at the top of the watch list. Motivated by low interest rates and an improving job scene, many buyers are eager for additional inventory. To meet some of that demand, new home construction is expected to increase. Sellers who have sat out recent market cycles may finally be encouraged by the overwhelmingly positive news. New listings in the region were up 5.5% compared to March 2013. Pending sales were down 8.4% compared to last March. That means seller activity picked up while buyer activity took a breather. But it's important to dig beneath the headlines. Fewer foreclosures and short sales are being listed and sold in the metro, which is a good thing. In fact, traditional new listings were up 22.1%, foreclosure new listings were down 39.9%, and short sale new listings were down 53.8%. Similarly, traditional pending sales were up 2.6%, foreclosure pending sales were down 32.2%, and pending short sales were down 45.1%. Less distressed and investor activity has diluted the gains seen in the traditional segment. Market-wide, inventory levels were down only 4.1% from last March, to just over 13,000 homes. New construction activity and improved seller confidence could alleviate shortages in certain price points. The overall median sale price was 7.6% higher to $190,000, marking 25 straight months of year-over-year -year price gains. Low supply levels and an improving sales mix both favor price growth. There are 3.1 months supply of inventory in the region. With the exception of a few remaining areas, segments, and price points, sellers are making far fewer concessions to sell their home. On average, sellers are receiving 95% of their original list price at the point of sale. Interest rates remain attractive, and the national economy reached an important milestone this month. After six long years, the U.S. has finally regained all the private jobs lost during the recession. This means more job opportunities for today's home buyers and a strong foundation for successful homeownership moving forward. That's the Twin Cities Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.